Hello everybody, welcome back into the green room here. I believe it is Saturday, and it is definitely time to update some of the assorted projects that I've got on the go. For the most part, the seedlings are all doing pretty well, but uh, what I want to look at first are those carrot tops that I did, and uh, just a few of those other type, uh, well, stranger planting issues. So let's get started on that and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. All right. Some of you may recall the video not that long ago where I tried planting peas in wet newspaper and in soil and I also threw in some corn because I had some extras there. As we can see three out of the six corn are sprouting and uh, you know sprouting well I, I will have to say. I don't see any of the peas coming up in the soil and I've got one pea at least there. Let's just kind of look underneath some of these other bits here. I'm not seeing anything in there. Not seeing anything productive in there. So all in all, this is not really a good idea, aside from the fact that, well, I've got one that sprouted in newspaper and none that sprouted in soil. So, oh, I've got two. I've got two that sprouted in newspaper and none that sprouted in the soil so yeah still probably not a really good idea but it does seem to work which is all I really wanted to know about anyway so I'm gonna transplant those two into some soil and get them out of the newspaper and probably fill the rest of this up with corn seedlings because what am I gonna do with three stalks of corn so next let's take a look at those grocery store replants as you can see the green onions are doing great they're kind of short right now because we uh, we had some egg salad the other day so what's that without green onions right so clear cut and uh, let these guys grow again but clearly they're doing fine so green onions definitely do work to replant them from the grocery store as long as you don't eat all of the white parts and leave some roots attached you're good to grow now as far as the celery goes that just turned into this kind of moldy depression in the soil. So next time I'm just going to try rooting that into some water, but uh, eh, I don't know. I I'm not expecting it to do too well. Speaking of not doing too well, no signs of life at all from either of those avocado pits. So I'm going to give up on that for now, but let's look at the carrots. As you probably recall, this carrot top got shoved into the soil and uh, you know, it looked pretty good on the first update. There was lots of green growth coming from it. But then it just started to uh, die. I watered it a few times. Nothing really happened. So I thought, okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try some in just water. Here's what that project looks like. Got some great greens growing on this. Had to top, top up the water a few times, but let's look at those roots. You know, clearly, this is doing all right. I don't think it's going to produce a, uh, a carrot tuber for consumption, you know. But carrot greens are pretty. So, I don't know. We'll see if this flowers and maybe produces some seed or whatnot. Because that's a nice stumpy carrot that came from. I wouldn't mind growing some big fat carrots like that. Especially if I can do it from seed regrown from a carrot top. Nothing wrong with that at all. And in the meantime, it's kind of funky to look at. Also from the realm of grocery store items that can be replanted for productive use, I've got a sweet potato, aka yam. I, they're basically the same thing. If they're not, feel free to let me know in the comments below what the heck the difference is, but seems to me my whole life these are the same things. Now I've got a clip I'll insert where I started these, I think on the 7th. We'll show that now. Hey there everybody, welcome back into the green room. I am JT Bear and today I am starting yet another one of those grocery store items that you know anyone can regrow, they say. So it is the 8th of April and I am just today putting into some water some sweet potatoes. Let's check it out. So we got this whopping yam for just under $2 at the grocery store and um, well you can't get uh, plant slips for that price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in about a third and two thirds, put the small piece here in the black tray and the large piece here in the coffee can because I use coffee cans for everything. I'm going to turn that though because I'm still not getting hashtag sponsored. Grr. Anyway, 
let's get started on this and uh, we'll check back on it in a week or two. It's supposed to take, you know, seven to ten days for the slips to start growing. So this video will carry on when we have some growth. Now I've watched a few videos on uh, starting sweet potatoes and uh, none of them mentioned that a big chunk of sweet potato, given the opportunity, will float. So I'm going to need to dump a little bit of water out of that. But we will check back on this when I start getting some uh, growth. And today is the 16th. So let's take a look. And I'm starting to get lots of nubs on the side of this massive chunk and some definite root forming. So I don't have any slips that I can see yet. You know, no greens, no future vines on either of these. But if they're starting the roots, then the slips can't be that far off. So I'm hopeful. I really like sweet potatoes. Sweet potato fries are the bomb. So hopefully these guys will produce some slips for me and I'll be able to show you those soon. And as far as projects where I'm trying something new, that pretty much leaves me with the perlite review. I've got the grapefruit, the Meyer lemons, and the rhubarb seeds here. Now, I looked through these earlier and I don't see any signs of rooting or anything like that going on with the grapefruit or the lemons. However, if we look really carefully in here, we can see some of these rhubarb seeds have shot off huge roots and that looks like some green leaf growth in there. And since this is perlite, it can only be from the rhubarb seeds. So I'm going to need to transplant these into some soil and I might finally have some rhubarb from seed. That's a cool first for me. So out of the 10 little rhubarb seeds that I put in there, seven have sprouted roots and two of them have green. So I am definitely going to get to transplanting those and then we'll get back to these clips. Six cups, seven rhubarbs. All right. Figure while I'm transplanting things, I might as well take care of those two little peas too. It's a nice solid little root system on this one. I've officially started making the list of the 2016 Pepper Shrine. Everything you see here, I have sprouted already. There's like 30 something, 34 varieties of peppers here. I am missing a few letters in the alphabet though, so you know, if anybody has a pepper that starts with I or E, that would be great. But basically, I've had to slow down a little bit now on my planting regime because I've still got another month and a half, almost two months to wait before I'm going to be able to plant anything outside. And I have clearly run out of shelf space for my cups. Got some planks. I'm thinking about maybe putting something over here, move this over, extend my grow space a little bit there. But uh, <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to work for lighting and such. Probably going to do it anyway because, you know, something's better than nothing. But here is what the seedlings look like now. I think basically I've reached that point in my seed starting where I have to start asking myself, is this an addiction? Am I taking this too far? And I think the answer is no, I'm not taking it too far. Yes, it probably is an addiction, but at least it's a healthy addiction. I'm being productive, I'm putting something into my own food supply, and I'm leading by example, because that's what I want you guys to do too, is I want you to be responsible for growing some of your own foods. You know, it's not that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. And on that note, I'm going to let you go for today's Green Room Update. I hope you guys have yourselves an absolutely fantastic day, and uh, I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.